How's it going guys? My name's Kingcraft and in this video I'm going to show you how to install mods for Starfield using both Mod Organizer 2 and Vortex. This guide is for beginners and veterans alike, so let's begin. Quick disclaimer, parts of this video will be obsolete once the developers of Vortex and Mod Organizer update their programs to natively support Starfield. Also feel free to use the timestamps in the video description to skip to the sections that are relevant to you. Setup. Before we begin, you will require a few prerequisites. WinRAR to unpack the mod files, an account on Nexus Mods to download mods, and your mod manager of choice. I recommend Mod Organizer 2. Mod Organizer 2. Setting up Mod Organizer 2 for Starfield. Download and install Mod Organizer 2. Note, it's recommended not to install Mod Organizer 2 inside your program files directory, as Windows permissions conflict with the program. Any other directory will suffice. You now need to download a plugin for Mod Organizer to allow it to recognize and manage Starfield, as the current version of Mod Organizer 2 does not natively support Starfield. Download the Starfield plugin for Mod Organizer 2 from the Nexus using the link in the video description. Note: Ensure that the version you download says uses the mygames/starfield/data folder as the main data directory. Once downloaded, navigate to the directory where you installed Mod Organizer 2. This will be the same directory that contains the Mod Organizer exe, or application file. Extract the contents of the file we just downloaded into your Mod Organizer 2 directory. Overwrite any files if prompted. Now reopen Mod Organizer 2 and create a new instance by clicking the instance icon at the top left hand corner. Then click create new instance. Click next and select the option for a portable install. If Starfield is not listed as a game to manage, tick the box for show all supported games and in the filter box type Starfield. Select Starfield and click next. Leave the location directory as it is and click next again. Click next one final time and then click finish. Follow the tutorial if you wish or just click no. If you receive an error like this one, don't worry, just click OK and continue. Now close Mod Organizer 2 and navigate to Documents, My Games, Starfield. Inside this folder, right click and create a new text document and open it. Leave the contents of the text document blank and click File, Save As and save the file as starfieldcustom.ini. If done correctly, the text document will turn into a configuration file, as seen here. Reopen Mod Organizer 2 and click the Tools button and select INI Editor. The Starfield Custom.ini file we just created will appear. Inside this text box, paste these lines of text. You can copy and paste them from this video's description. Once done, click Save and close the INI Editor window. Installing Starfield Mods with Mod Organizer 2. You're now ready to install mods for Starfield. I'll be using two mods as an example, Compact Inventory UI and Sarah's Black Leather Jacket. Once you've downloaded your desired mods, click the Install button and locate a mod you downloaded and click Open. The Install Mods window will appear and ask you to specify the data directory. Right click Data and select Set as Data Directory. Now click OK. Repeat this step for all mods you wish to install. Ensure to click the checkbox next to any mods you want to activate. Now click the Refresh button in the right hand panel and you should see new folders and files appear from the mods you just installed. Congratulations, you've now set up Mod Organizer 2 to work with Starfield. From now on, you'll be launching Starfield exclusively through Mod Organizer 2. To launch the game, simply click Run. Here you can see evidence of my two example mods I installed in action and working as intended. Vortex. Setting up Vortex for Starfield. Download, install and open Vortex. On the left hand side panel, click on Games and in the search bar type Starfield. Once Starfield appears, hover over it and click Manage. The Game Not Supported window will appear. Don't worry, just click Download. You may be prompted to log into your Nexus Mods account. If so, click Login and authorize your account. Once authorized, return to Vortex and you should see the message Installing Game, Vortex will restart upon completion. This may take a moment to complete, so wait a moment and then Vortex will restart automatically. Once Vortex restarts, you may see the message Starfield hasn't been automatically discovered. Simply click on Continue and ensure the directory is correctly set to where you have Starfield installed. This is typically in your Steam apps slash common folder, so locate your Starfield folder and click Select Folder. Starfield will now appear in the Games tab as managed. Now navigate to your Documents, My Games, Starfield folder, and inside this folder, right click and create a new text document and open it. Once open, paste in these lines of text. You can copy and paste them from this video's description. 
Once done, click File, Save As, and save the file as starfieldcustom.ini. If done correctly, this will turn the text document into a configuration file, as seen here. Now your Starfield folder should look like this. Installing Starfield mods with Vortex. Due to how Starfield's directories work, there's two locations to bear in mind when you're installing mods. Firstly, to install a mod normally through Vortex, download a mod and click on the Mods tab inside of Vortex. Simply drag and drop the downloaded mod into the Drop Files box. Vortex will then automatically install and enable the mod. However, if you are installing a texture mod, for example, this Sarah's Black Leather Jacket mod, you will need to navigate to your Documents, My Games, Starfield folder, and extract the mod to this directory. Remember, this is only for texture mods. Mods altering other aspects of the game can be installed normally via Vortex. From now on, you'll be launching Starfield exclusively through Vortex. To launch the game, simply click the play button in the top left corner. If you receive the deployment requires elevation error, simply click the bell icon and click elevate. The game should then launch. Congratulations, you've now set up Vortex to work with Starfield. Hopefully if you followed this tutorial correctly, and hopefully if it worked, your Starfield should now be set up correctly and be ready to be modded. I hope this video has helped you, it's taken me all night to figure out how to get this to work, but it wouldn't be possible without the hard work of the modding community like always. If this video has helped you, please leave it a like so others may find this video too. If you're looking for more Starfield, Elder Scrolls or Fallout content, consider subscribing to my channel and checking out my Twitch channel where I'm currently streaming Starfield. That's all from me guys, thank you so much for watching. If you require any further help, leave a comment and I'll see what I can do. Thank you so much guys, I'll see you soon.